It's still cold out and it's raining too. Unlike folks over in the UK, I hide out when it rains while they're out romping around. I suppose the folks up north in Minnesota and Michigan are just putting on their studded snow tires about right now. But I am going to grease my hub motor. Now I've never greased a hub motor before. Even with my old one I didn't pull it apart to grease it. But I watched a bunch of videos, though none on this particular motor, so I'm going to pull it apart and see how it goes. On the gear side, I'll have to pull off the plastic nut cover and the nut. On the gear side, I'll have to pull out that bolt that holds on the fender and pull off the derailleur protector. Pay close attention to that slotted washer that's on the axle beneath the axle bracket. Over on the brake side, you'll have to cut the cable ties that are holding the motor cable to the frame. Then unscrew the cable to the motor. After removing the plastic nut cover and the nut, the bolt holding the rear fender will also have to be removed. So the bracket securing the axle can come off. There is also a slotted washer on the axle underneath the frame on this side. I have my bike lying over on a plastic bin to get the wheel off. That doesn't work so well for putting it back on though. I set the wheel with the gear side down up on a plastic bin so it was up off the floor and I could work on it a bit easier. I have the necessary bit in a long shafted screwdriver that is thin enough to reach past the brake disc, but of course use whatever you have. Several videos mention these were security bits, but mine are a 3mm hex bit. The six bolts behind the brake disc will have to be removed to get off the motor cover. I made a mark on the hub and on the flange that will be removed to put them back in the same place, but I don't think that's necessary. Then I lifted the motor out of the housing by the axle, being careful to avoid the brake disc which might contaminate it or bend it. The motor didn't just freely lift out, but it did wiggle a bit. Eventually I tapped the axle on the other side, just with my hand and that was enough to let the motor come out. I've seen people use metal hammers. I certainly wouldn't do that. A plastic or a wooden mallet might be necessary. The planetary gears came out along with the motor and could now be examined for wear and grease. Some videos have shown a thin washer that was left in the bottom of the motor housing or came out with the planetary gears, but I didn't see one of those on mine. I didn't notice any wear or debris on the gears inside the hub or on the nylon planetary gears. There was only a thin layer of grease on the gears and it felt a bit dry. I used a toothbrush dipped in a little WD-40 to clean the old grease out of the metal gears and replaced it with Super Lube Multipurpose Synthetic Lubricant, which has been a popular choice for hub gears. It is a reliable lubricant, and there doesn't seem to be a definitive product to use for this. I dabbed it around on the metal gears with a finger, and then worked it in with a toothbrush to try to coat all of the gear surfaces beforehand rather than rely on the planetary gears to spread it around. I did the same thing with the nylon planetary gears, reaching inside to coat the back sides of it, and I replaced the motor in the housing, again holding on to the axle and not the brake disc. Once the planetary gears got down to the metal gears, it stopped and I had to wiggle it around just a little bit so it would settle in, but it did that without much trouble. Then it was time to put the wheel back on the bike, which for me was about more trouble than anything. After struggling with it a bit on the side, I ended up putting the bike upside down with the handlebars on the plastic bin. 
and that made it easier to put the wheel in than when it was on its side. It's always a bit awkward putting the rear wheel on, trying to get it past the derailleur and into the brake pad caliper, so I took off the brake pad caliper and replaced it after the wheel was on. This caliper had been recently removed without putting Loctite on the bolts, so I put it on this time, just a little dab. Doesn't take much Loctite. Screw the motor cable together securely and remember to replace the cable ties. Did it make it any quieter? I won't know until I go out on a ride, but here it is winding up to about 28 miles an hour without being under load. That seemed pretty quiet to me, but I didn't want to wind it up further without being under load. The brand new brake pads are rubbing a bit. They've only been out on a very short ride. I don't know if it'll be quiet and under load, but I'm happy to have it done so I don't have to wonder about it.